<laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Jasmine Chanel, and this is my puppy Shiva. Shiva. Hi. Say hi. She's my German Rottweiler. My baby, I love her so much. Um, today I'm answering your question on vet school, and the question is, what classes will I need uh, to take so that I'm eligible for vet school, and what should I major in for vet school? Uh, so first I'll start off with uh, probably the easiest, the quickest answer, which is what should you major in if you're interested in going to vet school? Um, you're going to want to major in the sciences because um, vet school is majority science. So if your school has a pre-veterinary program, I would major in pre-veterinary medicine. It's going to make sure that you've pretty much covered all the classes that you need so that you're eligible for vet school. Animal science is also an excellent option um, if you're interested in becoming a veterinarian. I majored in um, poultry, animal, and pre-veterinary science. Um, so it covered all of those and I went to Tuskegee University. If your school doesn't have pre-veterinary medicine, um, pre-veterinary science, or um, animal science as a major, then I would encourage you to major in biology or chemistry or another one of the sciences. In terms of class load, uh, what should you be uh, focusing on when you're taking your classes? So you're going to want to make sure that you've completed all of your biology classes. You're going to, Soleil, and this is Soleil, you all may have seen her. Um, you're going to make sure you've completed your biology classes, you've taken chemistry 1 and 2, you're going to need to take organic chemistry 1 and 2, um, you're going to need to take physics 1 and 2, um, all of your math courses you'll need that, and then your, your standard like English and um, whatever else you need. But mostly you're going to have to have those science courses, that's what's going to um, be on your prerequisite sheet when you're looking at veterinary schools to apply for. The pre prerequisite sheet tells you all of the classes that are required um, so that you're uh, eligible to apply to vet school. And you really want to make sure that you can take as many of them as you can with the major that you're majoring in for four years because if not, let's say you decide to major in um, um, psychology or you major in English, well, you do have a bachelor's degree, so that you're technically, um, you've completed one of the requirements, but you may not have all of the required courses that you would need um, so that you can actually apply and be uh, competitive in your application. So, and you don't want to have to take a bunch of summer classes. One, it's expensive, and um, two, it may set you back some time because you're going to have to complete your four-year degree, complete summer classes, and then try to apply probably the next year or the year after that for vet school. So if you can, try your hardest to complete them while you're an undergrad. Off, off. You're like halfway off the couch. Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. So yeah, that's going to answer, that seems like the answer to the question. So four years, um, to get your bachelor's in science, pre-veterinary medicine, animal science, biology, chemistry, physics. Um, course load, you're looking at uh, 18 to 21 hours for your semester, depending on how your classes are structured, so that you can complete your biology one and two, your chemistry um, one and two, your organic chemistry one and two. Um, you're gonna have to have a biostats or statistics, you're going to need um, physics 1 and 2. Um, if your class has animal classes, any type of like poultry class, dairy, um, any of those, you should take those classes. Definitely take all of the animal classes that you have. Um, and you should be pretty good. And then of course I always encourage you to go to the veterinary school that you're interested in applying to, go to their website and they will have uh, a link or a button that you can click on that will tell you the prerequisites or the classes that are required to apply to that veterinary school so that your application is competitive and, and so that you actually have a chance of getting in. Because it does cost money to apply to vet school and you don't want to waste your money applying when you know you don't meet the requirements. So. Hopefully um, this helps you and thank you so much for watching my channel. Uh, please subscribe for more vet school advice and life advice and pet advice and follow me on Instagram at dr underscore Jasmine Chanel. 
If you have any questions, you can always leave a comment or a question in the comment section. Um, and also, uh, you can leave me a question or a comment in my DM for Instagram. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Sally, Sally, Sally. You're being difficult. Bye. She says bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.